In this video, we're gonna be getting back to the basics with Sterling Lime, and we're gonna be using the Economy Supply 800 straight razor sent to me by Marion the Barbarian. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. And if it's your first time, welcome aboard. Please hit subscribe below. We're a very busy channel here. I'm your host, CDB. And today, we're gonna be using the Sterling Lime. So plain, basic lime, and we're gonna enjoy the heck out of this shave because really, that's what it's all about. We're also gonna be using the Economy 800. Uh, it is the Economy Supply Company 800 razor which was sent to me by Marion the Barbarian, or as some have called him, Marion the Librarian, because they said Marion looks more like a librarian than a barbarian, but you know, I'll leave that <laughs> up to you. Uh, we love Marion, by the way. Awesome dude, I talk to him a lot. Let's just get into it and start with our mister here, and this is just plain water, because I have gotten some questions on, what are you doing with that spray bottle? What's in there? Is there any special elixir in here? Yes, water. High quality H2O, right out of the tap. No distilled water here. We don't need any trickery to get a good lather. And I'm not saying other people do. If you have hard water, water, uh, it may be more difficult for you to get a good lather. So using distilled water may or may not help you depending on your situation. Uh, the pre-shave is the uh, PAA Cube. And again, I'll link some of these uh, products below. Actually, I'll link what you can still buy. Uh, I, I can't link an economy supplier razor because you might find one on eBay, but they're not manufactured anymore to my knowledge. So uh, the growth today, as you can see there, 24 hours. So it's just normal growth. Let's talk a little bit about the soap really quick. Sterling Lime, straightforward lime. I absolutely love it. There's something great about straightforward scents for me. This is $13.60 for 5.8 ounces. Or, I'll put, the, I'll put it on the screen in front of you, a absolutely exceptional price. $2.34 an ounce. Almost no one does that anymore, getting below $3 an ounce. And that's really why we've had to change our cost chart is because just there aren't very many people that make uh, soaps for under $3 an ounce anymore, sadly. And if you think you can't get a creamy lather with sterling, because it's rather inexpensive relative to a lot of offerings. Wrong. I'll show you a shot there of what the lather looks like in the brush, because you can't always see the creamy nature of the lather. I'm using the Razor Rock uh, Big Bruce. Again, we're getting back to basics. This was one of the first inexpensive, or not one of the first, but it was in the original series of brushes that, the, that uh, once they sourced inexpensive synthetic knots, and this one, I believe, was called the Plasoff Knot. See, look at that creaminess. You can definitely, if you can't get a good shave with Sterling because you, the, you're saying the lather is bad, you need to work on your lathering because it will lather and it will be creamy. Uh, this does have, I'll throw the ingredients up there for you. This stuff does have lanolin and shea butter, which I really like. And I think for the price, Sterling is the undisputed, in my view, or indisputed, whichever, value champion when it comes to soaps. Quality, with the com in comparison to what you're paying, in my view, the champion of value when it comes to soaps. Uh, their aftershaves are, are good value as well. And this lime scent is great. It's just a straightforward lime. Scent strength, about a six, a little over medium. Let's get into our shave. I don't know which straight razor shave you're, we're on now. It might be 55, it's 54 or 55. And let's get started with this. I believe this is something like 5 eighths, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and initially I did not like the hone on this razor. It came from Razor Emporium and I'm not throwing shade at Razor Emporium because Matt and his crew are very knowledgeable. It didn't seem right to me at first, but then I used it later after some additional stropping and it felt considerably better. And still on the neck, you know, it's slightly tuggy relative to some of the stuff I'm using. Look, that lather just fell right off that blade onto my finger, which means I've got it hydrated pretty well. And that's something that, uh, that I've been working to do is get more hydration 
uh, in my lather. And uh, that certainly helps with straight razor shaving. Uh, in my opinion, getting some additional hydration. All right, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, I'm appreciating the the hone on this razor after a couple of uses, because I think I've used this a couple times while I was at the beach, that not so great weather beach trip we had. And uh, I don't think I've used it since, but after a couple of uses and some stropping, it's feeling better to me, so that's great. And the Sterling is performing just like you would expect. Excellent. I'm telling you, Sterling in terms of quality will give you everything that you need, or at least it gives me everything that I need. I can't say matter of factly that it gives you everything you need, but in terms of the requirement of a soap to be slick and allow that razor to to glide across your face, if you if you lather it properly, it will give you everything you need um, for certain. So again, if you can't get a good shave with Sterling, believe me, it's you. <laughs> it's you, so work on your technique or what have you. So the structure of the lather that we're looking for today is a, what I call a shaving lather, which is the type of structure that <laughs> you should Shoot for the type of lather that allows you to shave well. I don't care anything about high structure, low structure, medium structure, under structure, over structure. That means nothing to me. That Those are terms from my perspective that don't really mean much uh, in terms of the way I approach shaving, which is to just get in here and get after it. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to overcomplicate it. I have been guilty of doing that in the past of, you know, really applying a lot of terms and and making things more complicated but one of the things that i'm becoming increasingly aware of man this is good stuff is that if you are a new person and you're coming to some of these channels and you're hearing all these terms and they have said this to me some of my viewers like, can you please explain what this or that means we are not doing many of us a very good job of explaining our terms so the structure of lather <laughs> I'm using here is the structure that results in shaving, you know? <laughs> so I'm not going to get into high structure, low structure. Let's just, let's just lather the soap, get it on our face, make sure it's hydrated, make sure it's slick. So new folks, what we're looking for here is a lather that has some moisture in it. It will have a little bit of glisten to it and it will be very slick. And that's what you're shooting for. If it's very pasty, you don't have enough water. And I, and I used to lather like that all the time because that's all that was required for DE shaving. But once I started straight razor shaving, it, to, for me, it demands a little more because what'll happen is if you go on the pasty side, it will uh, dry out on you during the shave and you don't want that. And so uh, make sure your lather is well hydrated just make sure you work some water in it you see right there where there's a little water clearly in that that's what you want and uh, that will allow the rays to glide very nicely if it's pasty what can happen is even though it's a thick lather and you can make what some people call are calling high structure oh I just set the razor on my face there. I was yakking and uh, I can tell you right now, I got myself on the, on the neck there being careless. But anyway, um, that has always for me been the most dangerous time with a straight razor is putting the blade to your neck and that'll probably be a little weeper right there. But anyway, as I was saying, um, you want, if you get your lather pasty, it can actually sort of gum up on you, which results in the, the, it works against you actually. So sometimes a really high volume lather, 
if it's also pasty, see that's where I put that right, uh, blade to my face. That'll be a little memory line. So the, uh, the dude of shaving cut himself the other day being careless and I just did too. <laughs> so be mindful of how you put that blade to your face because these straight razors will cut you if you're not being careful. And that was me flapping my gums and not paying attention. And you pay the price when you lose, <laughs> when you uh, are not mindful of your techniques. So I'm so wrapped up in what I'm talking about, I'm not paying attention. And uh, you really need to pay attention when you're using these sort of razors. And as the dude of shaving said, or junior as I call him, you must respect the blade. And the minute that you lose respect for the blade, you will uh, do something stupid like putting the blade to your face in a cavalier fashion like I just did there because I'm more interested in what I'm going to talk about and less interested in paying attention um, to what I'm doing. So don't do what I just did. <laughs> so there's a good uh, learning moment for you. I haven't been cutting myself much recently, but uh, if you lose focus, you can't. That's the one thing about straight razor shaving. You always have to be on your game and you cannot lose focus and you cannot be cavalier because when you are, that's what happens. And that doesn't have anything to do with the soap. That has everything to do with me flapping gums, showing out and not being mindful of my technique. So don't do what I did, <laughs> but it is nothing uh, to worry about. We, we press on, then we'll, if we need to hit that with a styptic, we'll hit it, it's no big deal. But anyway, the shave itself, um, really great soap. The edge is actually fine. Initially, I didn't like it, but today it's actually feeling fine. And as you can see there, it is fully capable of laying a cut on you if you put the put the blade to your face in cavalier fashion. See that? See how those, see how that's kind of falling off? So there's some good hydration in that. It's not just airy and bubbly, and so that's what we want. So I'm not concerned about defining structure, high structure, low, whatever structure. Like I don't even, I don't even know what that means really. Um, I don't care because I want a uh, a lather that just does what it needs to do for me, and I don't. I'm not interested in all the the shave foo. The uh, jujitsu level shave foo terms, as I am just enjoying this soap, by the way, which is terrific. Again, this stuff is phenomenal for the money. And Sterling has resisted the temptation to keep reformulating. Why do they need to reformulate? This stuff is great. Look at it. There is no need. There's really not much, honestly. You can spend three times as much for an ounce on this. And there are a good many soaps that are probably three times or two and a half times at least. And you will get nothing more out of what it actually does for the shave and the creaminess of the lather and this, that, and the other thing. And so for me, there's just no need. So what I did down there is came in too steep with the razor not paying attention and we will not repeat that for this pass because I won't do the stu same stupid thing a second time. And really what we're doing here is doing a little bit of a cleanup on the neck and then we'll just do a quick across on the cheeks, which is really not even necessary. But this part on the neck is necessary because it's kind of a tough area for me to get. And I have tried longer strokes on the neck a little bit. But it doesn't work. I have to keep going over it. See how that lather's falling off the blade there? That's a good lather for straight razor shaving. It may not look the prettiest, but um, it'll get the job done. All right, let's finish up. We're not gonna stretch there today. We're just gonna keep our hand out of the way. One of the things that I'm cognizant of now after seeing Junior is not hitting 
your blade with your other hand. So what he did is he bumped his blade with his other hand. There we go, and it resulted in a cut. And so I have almost done that when I'm reaching for my ear and moving this like this, so I'm just gonna leave that alone. And I'm just gonna stretch a little bit by inflating my cheeks. Because I'm not finding that I really need to really pull my ear that much. Okay, there we go. Now, by my, um, by the way I characterize shaves, because I did something stupid and got that cut right there, we can't call this an excellent shave. In my view, if you draw blood and make a new cut, like if you open up an imperfection, that's okay, pimple or something, but if you draw new blood and you cut yourself, that's not a great shave in my view for my, for my purposes. So this can't be a great shave. This can be a comfortable shave, this can be a close shave, but that memory line to be right there, and probably by the tomorrow comes around, you'll see a little line there. Um, this can't be a great shave. Uh, I will say the rest of it, other than that one careless moment, was quite enjoyable. And I'm gonna wipe off the blade now real quick and just set that in there. And this edge is actually working uh, better than I originally thought. So not too bad. I will re-hone it at some point, put my own edge on it. But for now, that worked pretty nice. Okay, let me rinse. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, we're in with our PAA alum, complete with dry dock. And again, I normally don't use this for this purpose, but since we did get a little neck today, we'll use this and so far the dry dock is working as advertised which is to say I've been putting my allen block just straight back in here and it has been staying in good shape so it's not getting crusty so on and so forth and that is what this is designed to do because that's so porous you just slap it back down in there and it's been airing out rather well not getting crusty so so far like four or five days in I'm not sure it's working as designed There'll be a link below if you're interested. Let me rinse this off. We'll come back and get into the rest of the post. All right, and we come with the Lancaster towel. Let me put up the graphic because these will be dropping this coming Saturday, I think at uh, 3 p.m. Information will be on the graphic. So if you're interested in getting one of these towels, which I love, uh, get after it this Saturday. Let's get busy with our witch hazel and I think the alum, uh, did what it needed to do on that cut, so that's great. That means it's not a bad one, just a, just a memory line, and that's about, historically, I probably had hmm, seven or eight of those over the years, I would say. Um, but certainly nothing uh, to worry about. It will keep me on my toes, I will remember that. <laughs> that's why I call it a memory line, because you remember you did something stupid, you don't repeat that, and so we'll hope not to repeat it. So the soap today was phenomenal. Sterling Lime, basic, but excellent. This soap will give you everything you need in terms of lather and getting uh, the type of protection you need. If you make a mistake and you've lathered this soap properly, it's not, no soap will save you from doing something stupid, all right? Stupidity can't be helped, or actually stupidity, you can't be protected from stupidity with a soap base. And I prove it because this was a tremendous lather, but that's gonna give you all you need, as far as I'm concerned, in terms of slickness and protection. Supply 800, uh, economy supply. Thank you, Marion, again. Marion the library, oh no, barbarian, sorry. I'm poking at Marion a little today, but we love Marion. And so I'm sure he'll get a chuckle out of that, or at least I hope. We're gonna finish off with some Panade Citrus Musk, again, basic but effective for me. And I have, uh, this used to be in plastic and I've put it in a glass bottle to see if it enhances the scent a little bit and I get some of that plasticky type scent out of it. 
and it smells great, I must say. Just a nice burst of lime, not very expensive. Again, this is Panad Citrus Musk. Thanks to each and every one of you for joining us again today. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, hit like. I want to remind you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.